Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box, the Technical Trader at TechTrader.com. These are the charts of the day. It's Tuesday, May 24th. Well, the market had a spectacular day. I thought it was outstanding. We gapped up, we ran up, we we channeled up, uh, closing not far off the high. There was a little late sell-off, but pretty much profit-taking. Right now, that, today was a very key, important breakout for the market, in my opinion, and we shall see if we get a follow-through. Unfortunately, the market's had a habit of up, up 200, down 200, up 200, down 200. So we'll just have to see if we can get it going. But let's look at some of the stocks that I want to talk about tonight. Many of them swing trades. Some of them are just stocks we've been following. If you take a look at Adapt, uh, Adeptus Healthcare, after the big drop from the double top in 125 range, it just came down into the mid-30s. And after a spike up and consolidation wedge, it broke out and retested. Now, unfortunately, we put a swing on it when it broke out above the neckline of the head and shoulders, thinking it was going up to 80.82 first. And, and then unfortunately, it did pull back to the trend line. But look at where it is now. Highest level since October, up another 251 or 3.6% today. And uh, with 12 days to cover, this may very well come on again. I'm still liking the way it looks. I still think the stock has targeting of, our targets of 80 and 90 ahead of it. I may reinstitute a swing on it. Looks good. AMD. Well, um, we're taking a look at this. We'll see that after the big explosive move a month ago, it consolidated for a couple of three weeks, broke out and backed off. And the last couple of days have been very strong. Today in particular, 4%, 34 million. Uh, the OBV is moving, moving vertical. I do want to point out, though, that there is a pretty strong zone of resistance up here from these prior highs. So I do think you can get to four and a half, 470 range. It may even get to five, five and a quarter, but I think you're going to have a tough time up here and you may need to pull it back. But we'll, we'll see if it's able to extend. In any, in any case, a nice um, pattern developing with good, good OBV and technicals. Um, BEAT, well, Geo came up with this. Like I've been looking at it for a while, but uh, he gave us a heads up this weekend and I liked it because of the wedge. Look at that pop today. Going from 15 and a quarter to 1720, closing just three cents off the high up a dollar ninety-seven or thirteen percent on a million four. It doesn't sound like a lot, but a million four is the biggest volume on an up day, uh, going back a couple of years. So for me, I think it's broken out, and I think the stock's headed towards near twenty. And by the way, there is five days to cover. Now BSFT is a stock I brought to your attention last week when one of my institutional guys showed, showed it to me. I like the overall pat pattern. We Traded it very nicely back in 2010-11, but over the last several years, it's been building a big, big base. Now, if you take a look at this today, reaching 44.16 is the highest level reached since it was 44.13 on April 27, 2012. So four-year high. If we get through that, we might have, we may, may, may very well get a run up to the low 50s. The all-time high, I tested that level at 55 or so. So. Keep an eye on this one as we may get an explosive move on it short term. 6.7 days to cover. Short term target 46 and then 54.5. Cyanoshore. Well, the swing trade we put out there took some time to back and fill and form a kind of a three wave corrective pullback flag within the confines of the channel above the 50 day moving average lateral, lateral price support from the breakout point. Today, right back out of it. Um, up $1.85 or 3.87 percent. The three days to cover, it looks like it could make a run back at the high, but eventually I'm looking for 58. Well, I think the goals, which have really gotten a turn downward, um, may reflect in the long ETF, in the excuse me, the triple bear ETFs or the, the bear ETFs for both the dust, which is the uh, gold miners, and the JDST, which is the junior gold miners. If you take a look at where resistance is here. At 1750 and today's high at 1745, and he moved through here. We can see 2122 pretty quickly. Should be interesting. Stay tuned. Volume is heavy on the upside. While we're on the subject, JDST, very similar, exploded for 4.08 or 22% today. Maybe headed for 2440, and then I'm looking at near 30. So those are your targets going forward. ERI, well, popped from 1336 to 1403, backed off a little bit, up 52 cents or 4% today. I still think that if it comes out of this flag, we're going to see it move into the 15, 16, 17 zone. And um, unless we get a, a, a quick pullback under 13, I think that's what's going to happen. EXEL, well, after the breakout, um, the last couple of days, today was a follow through day slightly. 15 cents or two and a half percent is nothing to get crazy about, but another new multi-month high, it's a six-month high, 
the highest level reached since November. That high was 642. I wouldn't be surprised if they tested that short term. But there's resistance right in the 640, 680 zone. And we're just going to have to see whether it pulls back and consolidates and makes a big run. 11.6 days to cover. Well, the LABU and the biotech indexes, it looks to me like they may save the day. If this market wants to go higher, those biotechs can do very well in here. One, two, three, four, five, and then retest, retest, forming a big base. And there's your breakout. Now, the test here, for me, first around 34, that may happen tomorrow, but the key level is 38, 39 zone. If we get up to that, I'm looking for 42. Motivation, after that two-week coil formed with great holdup in technicals, today it popped $1.16 or about 2%. I'm looking for trading halt at any minute in the, in the takeover. I really think it's going to happen. NVIDIA, wow, what a fantastically strong breakaway gap, a strong run up now. It is near the top of the channel. We may very well see the stock consolidate or pull back. But boy, this is an all-time high for NVIDIA, or at least the highest level, excuse me, in nine years. The all-time high is about 38, 39. Um, we're actually above that now, sorry. It's 45.50. So it may be that this stock's ready to make a major run. 7.7 .7 days to cover. The only thing I'd look for is a pullback retrace consolidation for a setup for higher levels. OLED, nice breakaway gap yesterday and a beautiful follow through today, up another 310 or 5%. Five days to cover. I'm looking for a move to the top of the channel near 69. This looks very good. SMH, well, the semiconductor index has an example of what's going on in that group. Leading the market back up, had a beautiful recovery move. and closed at the high for the day going away, literally at the high penny, uh, 55.82 within a penny of it, up 132. And more importantly, the highest closing since December. So it's a new 2015, 2016 high, and my target has to be a test at that level, just under 57, at right around 56.90. We get through that, we can see 60. That would be big for the market. SUPN. Continues in its channel. Has been taking out resistance. May very well test first 19 and a quarter, but more importantly, 20, 20 and a half, I think, is a zone where it could get to. 4.9 days to cover. Well, Tase is finally moving nice and steady in the rising channel. You can see the pattern here. It shows an extension could take you to 24. 12 days to cover. Ubiquity Networks, a breakout of the two-week wedge or coil, which came above the base pattern, augurs very well for more upside. With a whopping 23 and a half days to cover, we may very well see this run up to the mid to high 40s. Vuzi, another update. The volume was the biggest volume going back to January. And coming on a breakout day, I think the stock has is going to quickly test six and a quarter as early as tomorrow to six and a half and may even get up to 690. The spike high here at 684 could very well be in hand. We'll see. And lastly, is XON, which is recovering nicely. It's moved back through the two moving averages, lateral price resistance, and the declining channels I grew it in. My problem is that the overhead resistance at 31.34, the declining 50, with today's high at 30.98 within 40 cents of that, um, we may hesitate there. But I do think it's going to make the 34.35 zone. It may get up to the size 36.7 on this move up. We'll see. But there's a lot of resistance. However, on a, on a, to uh, counteract that, there's 7.2 days to cover. And folks, that's it for tonight. Have a good evening.